hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of mac os which is mac os sonoma on vmware now i'm going to guide you through each and every step and by the end of this video you should have a working mac os sonoma on your pc now the first thing we have to do is download the required files so head to your chrome browser first we have to download vmware so let's search for vmware Click on the link to vmware.com. Now up here, click on products and then select VMware Workstation Player under desktop hypervisor. Now click on download for free. And here you can see the version of VMware available. Now click on go to downloads down here. And you should see VMware for Linux and for Windows. So we're going to download VMware for Windows since we're using a Windows computer. So click on download now on that Windows and it should start downloading. I already have this file downloaded so I'm just going to cancel that. Next after downloading VMware we also have to download Mac OS ISO file which we are going to use for the installation. Now the link to this file will be provided in the video description so you can head directly to the page. This is Mac OS Sonoma ISO file which we are going to download by clicking on the download button and it should start downloading. I already have this file downloaded as well, so I'm going to cancel it. The file size is about 14.8 gig. I would recommend you use an internet download manager if your internet is not that stable. And lastly, we have to download Auto Unlocker for VMware. So let's open a new tab and then search for Auto Unlocker for VMware. Now you can see Polo Projects Auto Unlocker. Let's click on it. Now this tool is going to allow us to run macOS Sonoma on our VMware smoothly. Look by the right and you would see the latest release right here which we are going to click on. And then scroll down and you should see Unlocker right here. Download the zip. So after downloading VMware, macOS Sonoma, ISO file and Unlocker, we can close our browser and then head to our download folder. So here we go, this is VMware, this is Unlocker and this is Mac OS Sonoma ISO file. So first we have to install VMware by double clicking on it. Next. Agree to the terms. Next. 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 And then install. And then click on finish okay so we are done with installing vmware now we have to run unlocker so let's head back to our download folder and then extract unlocker now let's open the extracted folder and here you go this is unlocker now let's right click and then run as administrator yes Now let's click on patch. It's going to apply patch to VMware so we can run Mac OS Sonoma. So let's click on patch. This should take a while to download the required files and then run the patch. And we are done with the patch. Now click on OK. And then we can close this. Now let's open VMware from our desktop. And then create a new virtual machine. Now we're going to select installer disk image file and then click on browse. Now we select our macOS Sonoma ISO file from our download folder. Open and then next. Now this was the reason we used auto unlocker patch. If you don't run that you won't get an option for macOS X right here. Now let's set the version to Mac OS 14 and then next and then enter your machine name. I'm just going to call this Mac OS Sonoma. This is the location where it will be installed. We can leave it that way. Next. And then set a size for your installation. I would recommend anything above 80 gigabytes, but I'm just going to leave it at 80 gigabytes. We leave it at split virtual disk into multiple files. So if you want to transfer it to another system, it will be easy. Next. Click on customize hardware so we can make few changes. Now this is the RAM under memory which we can increase to whatever you want. 
now in my case i have 16 gigs of ram on my pc and i'm going to give it about 6.5 gigabytes now you shouldn't allocate more than 50 percent of your ram to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer same with the processor as well i have eight cores i'm going to give it three cores and then everything else we can leave it the way it is and then we click on close now we can click on finish and we are almost ready to start the installation next we click on edit virtual machine settings so we can get the directory where this machine is going to be running from so go to your hard disk and then copy the disk file path now we have to copy it to the place where it says the name of our virtual machine which is mac os sonoma in my case so let's copy that directory click on ok head back to your file explorer and then we we'll paste the directory here and then hit enter and it should take us here now we have to edit the configuration file and if you look closely you would see a file with the type called vmware virtual machine configuration now let's right click on that file and then open with notepad so we have to make changes here so screw down and then add a new line smc dot version equal to zero now we can go to file and then save now let's close notepad and then we can start our virtual machine and begin the installation so click on play virtual machine now set a language for the installation and then next first we have to erase the disk we assigned and then install mac os so let's go to disk utility continue now you can see under internal drives here vmware virtual sata hard drive and you can see the size which is 85.9 gigabytes now click on erase and then we can call it whatever we want i'm just going to call it mac os 14 erase done now let's close this page and then click on install mac os 14 continue continue now agree to the terms by clicking on agree agree select your drive and then continue and it should begin installing it will take about an hour to install it may restart severely while installing but you just have to wait mac os contains a built-in screen reader called voiceover if you know how to use voiceover press command f5 now to turn it on and set up your mac if you would like to learn how to use voiceover to set up your mac press the escape key and the installation is completed now you can set up based on your personal preference now enter your username and password which we are going to use to access our machine you can choose between light mood or dark mood you can change this later in your settings and we are done with the installation now there are a few issues we need to take into consideration number one is our machine is working quite slow and that is because of graphics so if we click on about this mac you can see the display is three megabyte graphics which is quite low and that is why our machine is running slow so we have to increase this to a higher display and number two if we try to resize our machine it doesn't really work so you can see right now if i try to resize the machine that doesn't work and if i view it in full screen mode it still doesn't work it just shows up like this which is not what we want so to fix that and the graphics issue we need to install vmware tools and to install that we just have to go to player and then manage and then install vmware tools okay so the reason we are getting that error is because of the iso which is currently on our desktop so we'll click on the iso right click and then eject the iso now we can do that again player manage install vmware tools install now just follow the prompt continue install 
Enter your password to confirm. If you get any prompts like this, open system settings. Under privacy and security, scroll down. And you can see right here, system software from developer VMware was blocked. Let's allow. And then enter your password to confirm. And that is all basically. Now after this installation, we need to restart our PC for it to start working. So let's just click on restart. And that is all. Now let's log in with our password. And you can see this is way way better than before. Now if we head back to check about this Mac, you can see the display is now 128 megabytes. And for the screen size or resolution, we can just drag this around and it would adjust to the resolution. We could even view it in full screen and everything should work without any issue. So basically, this is how to install Mac OS Sonoma on VMware successfully. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.